hello dear students this is the one of the most important video lecture for d and f local element for plus 2 class chemistry subject and we will cover the totally five marks question from this chapter so this is one of the most important chapter so start with the first question and that is what is a transition element and would you classify it as zinc cadmium and mercury as a transition element give a reason second question and what are the characteristics of transition element and third one question in what way what way is the electronic configuration of transition element differ from the representative element so let's start with the first question answer the transition element are those which are have partially filled d sub shell in their elementary form or their commonly occurring oxidation state the electronic configuration of zinc cadmium mercury as we know the zinc cadmium and mercury electronic configuration 3d10 4s2 cadmium and 4d10 5s2 and mercury that is a 5d10 6s2 as uh, we know that in case of zinc all the electronic configuration of d orbital are fully filled zinc 3d10 4s2 and zinc 2 positive that will form 3d10 similarly uh, shown in the spin orbital diagram in case of cadmium that is a 4d10 5s2 again cadmium 2 positive it will give 4d10 and similarly in the in second one structure and mercury that is a 5d10 and uh, in mercury 2 positive 5d10 and these all are fully filled electronic configurations since zinc cadmium and mercury do not have partially filled d orbital in their elementary states or in the most common oxidation state therefore these are not classified as transition element but uh, sometime the question ar arise why these element uh, present in the transition series or uh, d block elements because uh, as we know in case of different different oxidation state or variation in oxidation state uh, that will show the presence of unpaired electron in d orbital so that's why these are also called as a transition element because uh, they have a uh, unpaired electron in the d subshell uh, second question as we know in the second question of characteristics of transition element first point all the transition element are typical metals second transition element is generally show variable oxygen state because the most common oxygen state of a d block element transition element is a plus two and a transition element generally form colored compound and transition metal line form a large number of complex compound transition metal and many of other and many of their compounds show paramagnetic behavior due to the unpaired electrons transition metal have generally high melting and boiling point and transition metal are, are electropositive in nature these forms alloys and these are generally act as catalysts and these form interstitial compound and transition element are electropositive in nature these are the answer now next question c question is a representative element and a d block element or transition element are differentiate in case of a representative element s or p block element are called as the representative elements and the valence electron present only in the outermost shell while in transition element the valence electron are present in outermost shell as well as the d orbital of the penultimate penultimate shell so that's why then these are comparison between the two now next question is why is zinc is uh, why is copper considered a transition metal and uh, second question on what way we can say that a scandium to zinc that is a transition element what uh, z equal to atomic number 30 is not and the uh, next question is silver atom has completely filled a d orbital 4d10 in its ground state and how can you say that it is a transition element so let's, let's start from the first question as we know the transition metal are those elements which have incomplete d sub shell or partially filled in the ground state or in the most common oxidation state in case of copper electronic configuration is 3d10 4s1 so copper can be written in the spin form and copper 1 positive that is a 3d10 electronic configuration and copper 2 3d9 similarly copper 2 positive and that will show 3d9 and there is a partially filled electron in one orbital and copper 2 has a partially filled d orbital so it's it is a transition metal similarly another element can show so second question and um, from scandium to zinc scandium has electronic configuration 3d1 4s2 and uh, uh, zinc has electronic configuration for 3d10 4s2 and uh, scandium can we show 3d1 4s2 and zinc 3d10 4s2 so in the zinc 2 positive that will show 3d10 3d10 that is a fully filled electronic configuration and scandium has incompletely filled 3d orbital in its ground state 
and it is regarded as a transition element on the other hand zinc has completely filled d orbital 3d10 in its ground state and has not shown any unpaired electron in the orbital and uh, hence it is as well as in its oxidized state zinc 2 positive 3d10 configuration hence it is not regarded as a transition element so it, it is clear that transition metal concept now next question and the silver silver next third question silver has electronic configuration 5s1 and 4d10 and in orbital it can be shown since silver is a plus 2 oxygen state as a ag2 positive and it will give 4d9 and d show d orbital show the half filled orbital and hence it is also called as a transition element so next question is scandium water 6 3 positive is colorless and titanium water 6 3 positive is colored justify this is the most important question uh, second question and explain why titanium trichloride cl3 is colored and titanium tetrachloride is colorless or uh, titanium water 6 3 positive is violet in color or titanium water 6 4 positive is colorless and next question is why cadmium 2 positive salt are white or also as we know the in, in all these questions that is uh, moving uh, around the d block element uh, having unpaired electron even the presence of unpaired electron that will show different different properties so let's start from the first question in scandium water 6 3 positive the electronic configuration of scandium 3 is 3d10 while titanium has a titanium 3 positive 3d1 electronic configuration and hence with the 3d0 configuration that is a no dd transition occur and scandium 3 positive and it is a colorless on the other hand having the one unpaired electron in 3d electron in titanium 3 positive and dd transition can occur are possible and show color so this is the main concept that's why the Scandium water 6 3 positive with its colorless and titanium water 6 is colored. And um, explain a second question that is the titanium has electronic configuration, it can be shown by the graphical or a pictorial diagram. And titanium that is a 3D2, 4S2 electronic configuration, titanium 3 positive that is a 3D1. And in case of titanium 3 positive orbital 3D1, it is shown here. And in case of diagram, it will show that the d orbital titanium 3 positive 1 electron when it absorbs yellow light or absorb light it will go to the high energy state first dx by dy is dz that is a with the the energy that is a suppletion of 5 d d d orbital into two set of orbital that is called as a cft crystal field theory crystal field separating energy दो दो सेट ऑफ ऑर्बिटल दे विच डिवाइड हो जाते हैं सेकंड एंड ला अपर हाई है ईजी ऑर्बिटल है एंड नीचे वाला ग्राउंड स्टेट वाला दैट इज अ डीटीजी ऑर्बिटल है विद गेनिंग द मोर एंड मोर एनर्जी द इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम डी एक्स वाई दैट इज मूव टू द हायर एनर्जी स्टेट डी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर सो व्हिच बिकम अनस्टेबल एंड सो इलेक्ट्रॉन मूव टू द ग्राउंड स्टेट टू गेन द स्टेबिलिटी देन एनर्जी व्हिच इज अब्जॉर्ब दैट इज रिलीज्ड when that fall in the visible region that will show color and uh, that's also show a dd transition so it will show a color and titanium water uh, titanium 4 positive it has a 3d0 no unpaired electron no dd transition no color formation now next question in case of cadmium that is electronic configuration is 5s2 4d10 cadmium 2 positive 4d10 electronic configuration in case of orbital all the d orbital are completely filled no unpaired electron no dd transition no color no possibility of any other property so cadmium 2 positive has a fully filled d subshell therefore cadmium 2 positive salt are white or colorless in nature now next question are why transition metal exhibit a large number of oxidation state or transition metal show variable oxidation state or next question why copper 1 is diamagnetic copper 2 is paramagnetic in nature so let's start from the first question in case of transition element their um, their valence electron in the two different set of four, set of four orbitals n minus 1 d and ns orbital the variable oxygen state of transition element is due to the availability of n minus 1 d and ns electron for bond formation as the energy of an ultimate d orbital and ultimate s orbital are nearly same so there is very little in the difference in energy of these orbitals so both energy levels can be used for bond formation 
and total sum of ns and n minus 1 d electron determining the highest oxidation state shown by the transition elements so that's why the all the transition atom transition metal show variable oxidation state second question is copper 1 is diamagnetic and copper 2 is paramagnetic nature again write the electronic configuration of copper 3d10 4s1 as an um, orbital structure can be show and copper 1 positive that is a 3d10 and a copper 2 positive that is a 3d9 in case of 3d10 all the d orbital are fully filled no one per electron hence it is a diamagnetic in nature and in case of copper 2 positive 3d9 3d9 it will show as a one unpaired electron and hence it is show a paramagnetic in nature so this is the answer the next question is transition metal have high melting in boiling point why a second question why transition metal have tendency to form complex compound and next why is the highest oxygen state of metal except in the oxide or fluoride so first answer is due to presence of unpaired electron in their atoms transition metal in general have a stronger interatomic interaction and hence stronger bonding between the atoms stronger bonding between the atom of these element are responsible for the high melting in boiling point and hence a high enthalpy of automation so all the phenomena are moving around the unpaired electrons so second question is why transition metal have tendency to form complex compound and transition metal the first point that is a com comparatively smaller size of metal ion second they have high ionic charges and third because of the presence of weakened and minus one d orbital so that these orbital can accept one or more electron pairs from the ligand and the next question next point is high charge density on the transition metal cations next point is next question why is the highest oxygen state of metal exist in the oxide or fluoride and due to small size and high electron activity of oxygen and fluorine that can oxide the metal to its highest oxidation state due to the small size and high electron activity of oxygen and fluorine so that is the answer next question which is a stronger reducing is in the chromium 2 positive or iron 3 and uh, iron 2 positive and why second question why zinc and mercury are soft and have low melting point and next one question why d1 electronic configuration is very unstable in transition metal line explain so let's start from the first question which is stronger reducing isn't as we know in case of the element which show the oxidation oxidation that will act as the reducing isn't and where the reduction occur that will act as oxidizing isn't so this is the phenomena from the uh, plus one chapter Redox reaction, uh, redox reaction so start from first question chromium 2 positive is stronger reducing is in chromium 2 positive is oxidized to chromium 3 positive in the reaction in which chromium 2 positive is reducing isn't so let's show with the diagram chromium 2 positive at 3d10 3d4 electronic configuration orbital can be show and by by releasing the one electron showing the oxidation and act as a reducing agent and chromium 3 positive in chromium 3 positive there is only 3d3 unpaired electron similarly the reaction in which the iron 2 positive act as oxidizing agent iron 2 positive is oxidized to iron 3 positive iron 2 positive 3d6 this is written and uh, it, by oxidation it, iron 3 positive which show the 3d5 and this is a half filled electronic configuration of 5d uh, orbitals and in the medium like uh, water d3 is more stable as compared to the d5 this is because the d3 t2g level is half filled and symmetrical because and therefore d3 has extra stability d3 as we know let's uh, clear diagram as the suppletion of 5 d generated d orbital into two set of four orbital when three and three electron are present here one two and three they show a half filled electronic configuration d3 t2g this is a half filled and symmetrical electronic configuration hence it shows symmetrical and extra stability that's why the d3 has an extra stability okay so next question is zinc cadmium and mercury zinc cadmium and mercury are belong to group 12 of a long form of predictable and a general electronic configuration n minus 1 d10 ns2 these elements are soft and have low melting point and high volatile 
this is due to the fully filled d sub shell in the penultimate shell and have no unpaid electron and as such a dd overlapping is not possible so main answer is that there is no presence of any unpaired d d electron in the orbital due to that no dd transition no color no oxidation state so these are not regarded as a transition elements but in case of um, variable oxygen state that can be shown now last c question is why the ion with the d1 electron configuration have tendency to lose only one d electron to acquire the nearest or highest stable noble gas configuration hence d1 configuration is unstable because the d orbital having tendency to release the only single one valence electron to form a noble gas configuration and so it will form a d0 that is a noble gas configuration so d1 has d1 is unstable so next main question that is in most important question which which are asks again 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 first question that is a lanthanides what are lanthanides second day uh, lanthanides are so called as the inner transition element and third have a different oxidation state excited by the lanthanides so what are lanthanides the elements in which the last electron enter in the, enter in the one of the four f orbital are called as the lanthanides and um, they are so called because they come immediately after the lanthanum element other than they is ke naam apa lanthanides keh dene hai theek hai 4f series bhi ke naam keh dene hai apa second question hai lanthanide lies between the lanthanum and the hafnium and lanthanum and hafnium are d block element or transition element as lanthanide have transition metal of d block on both sides so these are also called as inner transition element because lanthanide series the dono surrounded the which the element lanthanum the hafnium and jista both are the d block element and lies between the d block element that is a f block elements or lanthanide element that's why these are also called as inner transition elements or the lies below the d block elements d block series f block element lies below the d block elements so these are also called as inner transition elements so next question is ionization energy of 5d elements is more than 3d elements why so um, and due to the comparatively weaker shielding effect of 4f electron 4f electron has to be like sp a d a and f a in case of shielding effect s is more than p then d then f f is a poor shielding effect weaker shielding effect of f electron in case of 5d elements there is a greater force of attraction between the nucleus and valence electron and hence due to greater effective nuclear charge acting on the valence electron in case of 5d elements so their first ionization energy are higher than those of 3d and 3d and 4d elements so second question is transition metal form number of interstitial compounds the interstitial compound are those which formed by when small atom like hydrogen carbon boron and nitrogen are trapped inside the crystal lattice of the metal and they are generally non stoichiometric and neither typical ionic nor covalent for example titanium carbon magnesium nitrogen iron hydride transition metal form a large number of interstitial compound because small atom of certain non metallic elements get trapped in the voids of lattice of transition metal atom as a result of filling up of interstitial spaces and such transition compounds are hard and rigid as we know in case of metal and transition metal both if d having uh, one metal having unpaired electron another metal having unpaired electron both will show sharing of electron sharing of electron and formation of bond this the formation of bond kar deta us tarah bond formation vele kuch na kuch na jehde hai metal de metal de vich kare kuch na kuch void space khali reh jandi us void space nu space nu ki kende hai void ke dene ja interstitial space ke dene is space de vich kar smaller atom jehde hai hydrogen carbon boron nitrogen can easily place kar sakde hai jehde nal strength jehdi hai hor jada increase ho rahi hai so is karke na tendency transition metal di to form a interstitial compound now next question hai why transition metal transition metal form alloys with the other transition metal easily and next one the transition metal and their many compound good act as good catalyst and transition metal form colored compound most important questions are present here so first question the tendency of transition metal to form alloys that can be explained on the basis of atomic size 
द अटोमिक साइज ऑफ ट्रांजिशन मेटल हैव और वेरी सिमिलर एंड हेंस इन द क्रिस्टल लेट इज द एटम ऑफ वन मेटल कैन रेडिली रिप्लेस विद द एटम ऑफ अनदर ट्रांजिशन मेटल दिस रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अलॉयज एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल एज स्टील आयरन अलॉय विद कार्बन एंड अलॉयज आर जनरली हार्डर एंड हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट एंड मोर रेजिस्टेंट टू क्रोजन एंड दैन द इंडिविजुअल मेटल सो एज वी नो इन केस ऑफ अलॉय फॉर्मेशन है वन मेटल विद अनदर मेटल कैन शेयरिंग फॉर्म बॉन्ड और वन मेटल विद नॉन मेटल टू फॉर्म ए बॉन्ड दैट इज फॉर्म ए अलॉय अलॉय फॉर्मेशन जिस तरह आप देख रहे हैं कि एक मेटल है दो मेटल दिन प्रॉपर्टीज कंबाइन हो जाएंगी तो मोस्ट इंप्रूवमेंट प्रोडक्ट बनेगा इसी तरह वन मेटल और वन अनदर मेटल और वन मेटल अनदर नॉन मेटल है दोनों कंबाइन हो जाएंगे प्रॉपर्टीज तो मोर इंप्रूवमेंट हो जाएगी इस तरह अलॉयज आर मोर हार्डर है हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट है मोर रजिस्टेंट टू क्रोजन है जिस तरह आप वहीकल के भी देखते हैं मोस्टली अलॉयज है मैक्सीम अजक यूज़ किए जा रहे हैं लाइट वेट होंगे ड्यूरेबिलिटी ज़्यादा है स्ट्रेंथ ज़्यादा है सो सैकेंड क्वेश्चन इज ट्रांजिशन एलीमेंट एक्ट एज गुड कैटलिस्ट है ट्रांजिशन मेटल मोस्टली कैटलिस्ट के तौर पर व्यक्त करते हैं रीजन इज दैट ड्यू टू बैलेंस ऑफ वन पेड इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांजिशन मेटल प्रोजेस्ट द कपैसिटी टू अब्जॉर्व एंड अमिट वाइड रीजन ऑफ एनर्जी वाइडिंग डूइंग सो द ट्रांजिशन मेटल मेक्स द रिक्वायर्ड एनर्जी फॉर एक्टिवेशन अवेलेबल एंड सैकेंड पॉइंट ट्रांजिशन मेटल शो वेरिएबल ऑक्सीजन स्टेट एंड दे मे फॉर्म इंटरमीडिएट कंपाउंड विद वन ऑफ द रेक्टेंट and these intermediate provide a path uh, having a lower activation energy and form a product and third one transition metal also provide a suitable large surface area with free valencies so their reactant can be easily absorbed for example vanadium pentoxide which is act as a catalyst in the manufacture of sulfuric acid so that is also called as a contact process and a finely divided iron can be used in the haber process हाबर प्रोसैस अमोनिया की प्रोडक्शन यूज करते हैं सो इसी सैकेंड क्वेश्चन थर्ड क्वेश्चन है ट्रांजिशन मेटल फॉर्म कलर कंपाउंड द कलर ऑफ कंपाउंड ऑफ ट्रांजिशन मेटल ऑलरेडी अपना डिस्कस किया भी है जिस तरह ड्यू टू पेंस ऑफ आन पेड डी एन माइनस वन डी सबशल है इनकेस ऑफ कंपाउंड ट्रांजिशन मेटल एनर्जी ऑफ फाइव डी और यूटल आर सेम सबशल दैट डू नॉट रिमेन इक्वल अंडर द इनफ्लुएंस ऑफ अप्रोचिंग द आइनस और लिगिन डी और यूटल आर सपलिट कर जाते हैं टू सैट ऑफ ऑरबिटल टू सेट टू फोर विटल के फर्दर टू सेट टू फोर विटल के लो एनर्जी और विटल है हायर एनर्जी और विटल है तो जो ये एनर्जी गेन करके हायर और विटल हायर एनर्जी स्टेट के जाता है तो हायर एनर्जी अनसेबल होंगी है वापस आऊगा दैट विल शो डी डी ट्रांजिशन दैट विल शो कलर सो दिस इज द मेन फिनोमना दिस इज द डायग्राम कैन बी शो नो नैक्सट इज द इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट डिफाइन द लेंथ एंड कंट्रक्शन and explain the cause of full length radiative contraction this is one of the most important question hai te jehda har bar har board exam de vich har exam de vich maximum time cover kita janda ga and this is one of the again most important question for these transition series elements and ke so length radiative contraction and explain the cause of length radiative contraction length radiative the study decrease in atomic and ionic radii with increase in atomic number that is called as a length radiative contraction so in length radi series the increase increasing atomic number there is a progressively decrease in the atomic as well as ionic radii of trivalent ion from length num la3 positive to lutetium 3 positive ion the regular decrease in atomic and ionic radii with increase in atomic number that is called a length radi contraction ke jis tarah dekhte hain aap ke size itho hai size decrease hunda hunda small ho janda this is a length radi contraction with atomic the ionic radii hai that is with atomic number de naal dekhte hain theek hai ji सो कॉज की है कहते इन लेंथ नाइट सीरीज एज वी मूव फ्रॉम वन एलीमेंट टू अनदर एलीमेंट द न्यूक्लियर चार्ज इनक्रीज बाय वन यूनिट एंड वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एडेड द न्यू इलेक्ट्रॉन आर एडेड टू द सेम इनर फोर एफ सबशल द एवरी टाइम इलेक्ट्रॉन आर एडेड टू द फोर एफ सबशल एंड फोर एफ सबशल शीड आई अदर फ्रॉम द न्यूक्लियर चार्ज क्वाइट पोअरली बिकॉज ऑफ द पोअर शेडिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ एफ और विटल एंड बिकॉज ऑफ वेरी डिफ्यूज शेप ऑफ एफ और विटल द न्यूक्लियर चार्ज हावर इनक्रीज एट एवरी स्टेप कि न्यूक्लियस तो जोड़ा है आउटर साइड के चार्ज है हमेशा बढ़ता जा रहा है इनक्रीज प्रोवाइड किया जा रहा है बट एस ऑरबिटल है पी ए फिर डी ए फिर एफ ऑरबिटल है एफ द पोअर शेडिंग इफेक्ट है डिफ्यूज शेप है द इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज एक्सपीरियंस बाई द ईच फोर एफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इनक्रीज एज इज द होर ए होल ऑफ फोर एफ इलेक्ट्रॉन शेल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एट ईच सक्सैसिव एलीमेंट थ्रो द डिक्रीज इज वेरी समॉल डिक्रीज वेरी समॉल हों बट सॉइज साइज डिक्रीज होना स्टार्ट कर जाता द रिजल्ट इन द 
ग्रेजुअल डिक्रीज इन द साइज ऑफ लेंथनेट विद इनक्रीज इन अटोमिक नंबर अटोमिक नंबर इनक्रीज होने जो साइज समोल समोल डिक्रीज होना स्टार्ट हो कर सम ऑफ सक्सैसिव रिडक्शन गिवस द टोटल लेंथनेट कंट्रैक्शन ड्यू टू इट्स पुअर शेडिंग एंड पुअर डिफ्यूज शेप ऑफ एफ ऑरबिटल के करके कहते कि साइज के डिक्रीज होना स्टार्ट कर जाता है सो नैक्सट इज़ द कंसिक्वेंस ऑफ लेंथनेट कंट्रक्शन दैट विल शो सिमिलैरिटी इन द साइज ऑफ सैकेंड एंड थर्ड ग्रुप थर्ड थर्ड ट्रांशन सीरीज सैकेंड वन ड्यू टू लेंथनेट कंट्रक्शन द चेंज इन आयनिक रेडिय ऑफ लेंथनेट आयन इज वेरी स्मॉल एज इज देयर कैमिकल प्रोपर्टीज आर सिमिलर सो द सपरेशन ऑफ लेंथनेट इज आर बिकम डिफिकल्ट थर्ड वन है इंपोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है दैट इज आर लेंथनम ट्राई हाइड्रोक्साइड इज मोर बेसिक एंड ड्यूटेरियम ट्राई हाइड्रोक्साइड इज मोर बेसिक दिस इज विल बी डिस्कस इन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज द सिमिलैरिटी बिटवीन लेंथनेट एंड एक्टनेट बोथ आर शो प्लस थ्री ऑक्सीजन स्टेट एंड बोथ आर एफ सीरीज एंड बोथ आर इलेक्ट्रोपोजिटिव एंड शो हाईली रिएक्टिविटी लेंथनेट कंट्रक्शन एंड दीज आर एक्टनेट कंट्रक्शन है बोथ विल शो फोर एफ एंड फाइव एफ शेडिंग इफेक्ट बोथ एक्सेप्ट द स्पेक्ट्रल एंड मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन लेंथनेट एक्टनेट लेंथनेट शो मेनली प्लस थ्री ऑक्सीजन स्टेट एक्सेप्ट द फ्यू केसिस वेयर लेंथनेट शो प्लस टू एंड प्लस फोर एंड इन केस ऑफ एक्टनेट दैट विल शो प्लस थ्री ऑक्सीजन स्टेट and sometime oxidation plus 4 5 6 7 binding energy of 4f are higher and binding energy of 5f are lower and uh, lengthened shielding effect of 4f electron have greater shielding effect therefore the contraction in the in the radii is less and 5 electron have poor shielding effect and therefore the contraction is size is more the tendency to form complex is less and the hair is high the tendency lengthened compound are less basic and actinide compound are more basic so loss is a basic character in case of laoh thrice that is a more basic than luoh thrice the mean reason is that in case of this uh, basic character first we consider on the covalent character in case of covalent character that is based upon the fasan rule and according to fasan rule smaller the size of cation smaller size of cation larger size of anion and more will be the polarizability so in case of lanthanum to deuterium as we know in case of so this is our dekol most important and expected question of d and f local element 5 marks question so all the best to all the students to learn all all these question and get good marks in all the exams all the best please like share and subscribe this is channel and again all the best thank you thank you dear students